are calling it an allergy Armageddon. 2015 is expected to be especially bad for sufferers, thanks to abundant pollen. For people itching for answers or relief, we're testing your allergy IQ. First up, conventional thinking is that spring is the worst offending season because so many things come into bloom. We ran that by Lee Memorial Health System allergist Dr. Elvin Mendez. The problem with springtime is that pollen count increases exponentially. Uh, but it also does the same in the middle of the summer with mold spores. Another preconceived notion is that OTC meds are all you need to get you through the storm of pollen. We prefer to treat the underlying problem and not mask it. Um, the reason for that is because by masking it with over-the-counter remedies, you are never going to get rid of the problem. It will come back to haunt you again and again and again. Finally, is it an old wives' tale or is there any truth that you may be able to limit your child's risk for future allergies by getting them hands-on with dogs and dirt? It's called the, uh, the uh, hygiene hypothesis and that's been around for, for a few decades. There is plenty of truth to that. The theory is that if you allow the immune system to be exposed to certain things early on in life, you will mount a natural immune response. A better understanding of your scratchy throat, itchy eyes, or soggy sneezes may help you better manage your seasonal allergies. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.